Hey, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and we're down here at the Epworth Children's Home Alumni Association, and uh, they're going to be holding a huge event uh, this year to try to raise money for some children who need help. And uh, what's your name, sir? I'm Lynn Ross. I'm, I'm a um, prior resident here back in the early 40s. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, this place has been around. It's got history. How long has it been here? It's about 115 years old. This year's our birthday. This year's our birthday. We're 115. And what's your name, ma'am? Mitzi Schaefer. And what about you, sir? I'm Sam Bauer. I'll be in charge of all the cooking this year. Okay. Well, uh, tell us about, you know, uh, uh, how important it is to have events like this and uh, to raise money because you need money to help, you, uh, help your situation out. We do. And uh, about three years ago, the Alumni Association was challenged by uh, Epworth to see what we could do to raise money uh, for Epworth. And of course, we've got approximately almost 600 members in our, in our alumni association. And <clears throat> we really wanted to give back because at the time that we and our families needed it, Ep Epworth was there for us. Uh, my mother actually was an orphan. And uh, when she stayed, she came out here at age six. Uh, left at 19, um, married my father, and uh, I, I was born when, I, when she was 20. And then at 23, my, my father uh, and her divorced. And uh, unable to care for me, she brought me out here. So thank God for up with, I mean, because it was a safety net for my family. And I'm just one story among thousands since in 115 years. Wow, you know what a worthy cause. We're down here in the center of Columbia, South Carolina. And to be honest with you, before somebody came on my Facebook page and asked me if I would help, I was not aware of uh, Epworth at all. I've never heard of it. And to have such a worthy cause in the center of Columbia uh, that people don't even know about, I think it's time that uh, we shed some light on it and, and try to get some help down here because uh, uh, you can always use a little more help, can't you? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Um, Epworth has been here since 1896, and um, right now, currently, we have about 80 children on campus. 80% uh, of those children are here because the Department of Social Services has removed them from their home because of abuse or neglect. Um, the other 20% are here because a family member has just said, you know, we need help. They um, Maybe it's a single mom dealing with addiction issues and she's concerned she's going to lose her children so she can place them here and be a part of family counseling and those kinds of things and we can help reunite the family and get them back together. But um, raising money is a big deal for us. Most, um, most agencies are primarily funded by the government, but Epworth is not. We're only 10% funded by the government. And so um, everything that we provide, health care, tutoring, um, counseling, fun activities, that's all paid for by the community and, wow. and the generous donations of the people who support our agency. Wow. You know, if you're a church out there and you're looking for a good cause, something extra uh, to go the extra mile, you know, Jesus was all about helping other people. You know, that's what we're put on this earth to do. And I want you to look at this fine uh, man over here. Uh, you know, if somebody didn't care enough about you that she, that she didn't get in a place like this, it would have really been a major impact on your life, wouldn't it? It would have been uh, tragic. <clears throat> and being the president of the Alumni Association, I've talked to so many of the other uh, previous residents, and their stories are horrific. Uh, we've had uh, families, and, and many of the families came out with their entire family, four and five uh, siblings. Wow. Uh, families that had suicide that took place in their family and, and they needed a place to go and their pastor was able to put them at Epworth. So it is a, uh, it's a safe place. It's a, a wonderful place that people can uh, develop uh, not only mentally and physically, but spiritually. Yes. And so, uh, and, you know, people like Mitzi gets that word out and they challenge us to do our job as alumni in order to give back. And that's what we're here for. Well, I'll tell you something else. Steve Spurrier, probably got more power in Columbia than uh, Governor Nikki Haley. I hate to say it, but uh, and uh, we need Steve Spurrier. Now, Steve, 
you've brought all this stuff to Columbia. You've done so much for the town, for the school, for our spirit here. We're calling on you. We need Steve Superior to come on down to Epworth on April 9th. Uh, we need we need help from you because, friend, if Steve Spurrier would just walk across that floor on April 9th, we'll sell all our food, sell all our plates, and we'll have more donations than we ever had. Well, let's get the barbecue man in here, and let's talk about the competition and the, or the, the cook-off and everything. How you doing, Daryl? I have 26 competition cooking teams right now that are on my list to come and cook for us this year. We'll be cooking between 500 and 600 Boston butts. We'll be cooking about 400 half chickens and enough side items to fill, I believe, 1,400 plates. Wow. So we'll be making 45 or 50 gallons of hash on site through the night. We'll have the rice to go with it. We'll have baked beans. We'll have coleslaw, bread, iced tea, and water. We'll be selling barbecue, pork barbecue plates for $8 a piece. That comes with a large help in a, bar, a pulled pork barbecue and all the sides plus tea or water. We'll be selling chicken barbecue plates. That plate will have a quarter of a barbecued chicken on it with the same sides, iced tea or water. Or we'll be selling Boston butts to go. Those will be $25 a piece. We'll have them wrapped up and ready to put in bags. The spices, the cooking methods, and the sauces are all competition recipes. We will be cooking competition style pork. When my cooks come in, I don't tell them what time they need to start the meat or what time they need to do anything. My instructions are that to them are, I want your meat to be off and ready to serve at a specific time in the morning on Saturday, and they do whatever they would do in a competition setting. We're using pretty close to my competition rub recipe. I made 80 pounds of rub last year. For those people in the barbecue world, you've got an idea how much 80 pounds of rub is. Um, I also made 45 gallons of my competition barbecue sauce last year. Um, this will be the third year that I've been involved. I've made the sauce. This will be the third year. And we're trying to keep the cooking as uniform as we can from year to year so that from year to year, those people that come out and enjoy what we do can tell their friends and bring a larger group, larger group the following year. So come and see us. We'll look forward to it. We all are competition cookers. All the cookers are very happy to show off their grills, and we tell lies like any other sports team or fishing, you know, fishing group, hunter. We got all kinds of stories to tell. All of these teams are award-winning teams. There are some that have been as far as the best of the best competition in Douglas, Georgia. Um, some of us have been first and second or third place in the state of South Carolina for the SCBA's Master Barbecue Awards. Um, we cook different styles, everything you can think of. So I'd like everybody that wants to come to see how we cook, come see us. It'll be a competition setting without judging and without trophies. Well, there will be trophies because there'll be a whole lot of important little people that get benefit out of what we're going to do. Now, uh, uh, Lake High, if you're out there, if you hear this, you are going to hear this. Uh, you're the SCBA president. We want you here on April 9th. Uh, Jim Wobier, Southern Barbecue Network. I know you made a contact with me. Uh, you want to get in touch with me. We need you here on April 9th. We need every bar barbecue competitor that, that can to come to Epworth on April 9th. And then we need one more thing. We need Kappa Psi and all the sororities and fraternities on USC Columbia to come here on April 9th and buy a plate or else serve a plate. We want to see how many fraternities out there at USC care about children. I tell you, there's a whole lot of people Oak Ridge Community Care Home, that's another one. Now, Oak Ridge Community Care Home is out of Spartanburg, South Carolina, and uh, they've committed to buying 1,000 pounds of meat, and we've got Brad K. from BK Barbecue. He's going to come and cook the meat. It'll be here for service. That's a nursing home. If you've got a nursing home, you want to promote your nursing home, they ought to come out here and support the, the situation that you got out here and uh, buy some meat or come buy a plate. 
What would you think about the nursing homes all getting together and buying five or six thousand pounds of meat? That would be awesome. And I'll tell you another thing. This is more of a family event. I mean, last year people were sitting around on blankets. Uh, kids were throwing, um, you know, uh, the football. We've got a bluegrass band with a, an incredible singer that's coming this this year. So we're very excited. Every year we try to improve it, and this year we we're very excited. We moved it up a week so we wouldn't be in such competition with other things going on. And so, uh, and the, hey, and Columbia's in bloom, and the weather's fantastic, and, it, um, well, we pray that we won't have rain, but uh, we have tents in the event we do. So, please, uh, we, we need your support. Epworth needs your support. So, please come out. Okay. Now, if you go to barbecuesuperstars.com, the third tab down, there's uh, Barbecue Superstars Television, Rosie Caffarelli, reporter out of Florida. The third tab, that's Epworth. Click on it. If you go down toward the middle, there's a tab. It takes you right to the donation thing. Just donate some money if you don't want a plate. Or go to the Epworth website, Google E-P-W-O-R-T-H, and uh, it'll pull up the Epworth Children's Home. Go on their site and donate money. Now, I'll tell you something. You can't do anything better for your life and your own personal situation. Are you tired of failing? Are you tired of having problems in your life? You give money to Epworth and you help children. And I guarantee you, a blessing is coming to you. And uh, I tell you, you're, you're really down in the heart and soul of this school uh, situation and everything. Uh, has it, has, what kind of effect has it had on your life that, that you've given yourself to support uh, for, for this kind of situation? Well, you know, I um, when I started here at Epworth in April, one of the things um, that my, when I came home that first week, my husband said, well, what's it like there? And I said, it's like being at camp every day because there are always children running around and, um, you know, talking and telling you their stories and playing on campus. And um, and everybody, even though this is work, we stop when they come in our offices to chat and um, and be with them because that's the priority. And that changes your life when you spend your life giving it to children and making sure that they're protected and they're safe and they have all the opportunities to go to college and to grow up and be healthy, you know, thriving community members. It changes you. Mm -hmm. Now, that's one of the things that I, uh, the history of Epworth has is that we've actually had uh, people who were residents here to go on to become senators and judges and professional business people. Uh, so if you really are concerned about your community and you want to give back, um, rather than have children in tough situations and, and drug infested homes and things of that nature, when they can come here and, and find their spirituality and find their, their place in life and then be able to give back to the community, I mean, we're saving an awful lot of tax dollars. That's, it's money well invested. Every dime that we raise goes to Epworth. And our, our love and our heart and soul is committed to Epworth. And uh, I'm just one of 600. And uh, so we really do need your support. And we, we, we can't wait to have you come out and enjoy the uh, bluegrass music and barbecue. And uh, we're excited. Okay. Now, I think Bob Coble got voted out. Bob, you need some good press. You need to get down here on April 9th. Inez Tenenbaum, she was the state superintendent. She got voted out. You need some good press. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people right here. I know Inez is out in the uh, uh, Lexian area. If you need good press, come down here and shake a few hands. We want everybody that's in politics. So I'm going to issue a challenge. Here's a challenge. If you're a state house member, how far is the state house from this this place right here? It's about um, eight minutes. If you're a state house member, you're only eight minutes away. If you're a state senate member, and you're only eight minutes away. If you're Nikki Haley and you're the governor, you're eight minutes away from something that takes a really high priority. We've got budget shortfalls. We've got a lot of problems in the state. There's one place that you can show that you care about children and what they're going through, and that's right here, eight minutes away from where you meet, and that's the Epworth Children's Home. I want everybody that's on your staff, I want you as a state house member, everybody that's on your state senate staff, everybody that's on Nikki, all you people that are lobbying up there to try to make money for your companies, April 9th, you've only got one place to be, and that's the Epworth Children's Home. And get down there and buy a plate. Let's show that South Carolina cares about kids, that we care about our community, and that we're going to get in here and support 
something that's the grassroots. Look at this man right here. Bless your heart. You know, you, you had a hard time when you were going growing up and everything, and Epworth stood in the gap for you, and he's, he pulled up in a nice-looking Lexus. He's, dra <laughs> he's dressed like a nice-looking fella. Look, Epworth, when children find out that someone out there cares about them, somebody will step in and say, you know what? It's hard. Life is hard. You've had it hard, but you've got a place to come here, and we'll take care of you because we love you. It ends up, look at look what happens. And uh, uh, Barbecue Superstars is 100% committed to raising as much money as we can on April 9th. And you're not going to be able to hide from me. I'm coming where you're at. I'm coming down to USC. I'm coming to the State House. I'm going to be over here at WIOS, WIS, shaking hands. Uh, it's funny that such an important thing in the community, as much as I've been down here around different things and political events, I've never heard of Epworth before. And uh, uh, so we want to we want to support y'all. So have you got anything you want to say in closing? No, thank you for, so much for you being here and helping us promote our uh, event. It, um, this year we're really committed to hopefully doubling the uh, contributions that we made uh, the previous year, and you, you're you going to be a large part of that. And I really do appreciate your listeners, and please come, come, come to see us. And it's a beautiful campus. I mean, you will really, really love the campus. We have a, a large center area where uh, people can uh, just really, truly enjoy. It's a family event, and uh, people come, they listen to the music, and they, uh, you know, sit around, throw the balls. I mean, it's it's just a great family event. Two million dollars, that's what we need. Well, what do you want to say at the end? Um, I just want to say thanks to you and um, to the Alumni Association for their hard work and dedication, and to Sam for um, organizing all of our cookers. Um, you know, this is a valuable, valuable ministry in our community. And to have so many folks who are dedicated to making sure that children who otherwise would be unsafe or suffering are receiving the kind of care that they deserve is a really powerful thing. Yes, I'm glad to be a part of it. I'd like to thank you for coming down and speaking with us, talking with me on your radio show in the evening last week. Uh, I would also like to remind Lynn that the Palmetto A's are coming with their entertainment this year. We will have a fairly large group of fully restored Model A Fords that are coming down with the Palmetto A's Model A Club. They will be out on display, and a lot of the members of that club will be helping us in the serving lines as volunteers and so forth. So we definitely can't forget them. But I'd like to thank all of my cooks and everybody else in the barbecue world that's helped me get to where I am. I'm a residential contractor. I'm self-employed. I don't own a restaurant. I, I do this for fun. And it's all the people in the barbecue circuit and so forth that have taught me how to have this kind of fun and do things at this, this caliber. So it's really my cook teams deserve more credit than I do. I make some phone calls. They do all the work. So thank you to all those that help. And thank you to Lynn and the Alumni Association and to Epworth Children's Home for allowing me to come down and be a part of this and help make this happen. That's what it's all about. You know, and just in closing, I'd just like to say that uh, uh, it says in the Bible that a man that doesn't take care of his children is worse than an infidel. And when you get somebody in these situations like this, I feel like we all become part of their parents and we need to take care of our children. And so, you know, I just reach out, you know. I know there's a lot of division uh, in, in the world today. You know, you got Democrats and Republicans and this side and that side. Let's put all that down just for one day. That is April 9th, 2011. Let's all converge at 2900 Millwood Avenue. Millwood Avenue. Let's all converge on this place and let's show the world that South Carolina cares about children. I love you. I love every one of you. Thank you. You you guys live it every day. You're in here every day and, and we appreciate it. Well, this is Barbecue Superstars coming to you from downtown Columbia, 2900 Millwood Avenue, the Epworth Children's Home Alumni Association. And thank you for stopping by.